So you all moved in? Uh, no, not really. Well, if your room's close to Alex's, you should be careful since she snores like a truck. You wouldn't think it to look at her, but it's like a chainsaw fighting a pack of wolves. Can we just stop talking about this? Oxenfree is an adventure video game that was released back in 2016. The game focuses on a handful of talkative youngsters who take a ferry out to the fictional Edwards Island for a weekend get-together. Unfortunately for them, the developer Night School Studio happens to be quite fond of 80s horror and thriller films, so the underage drinking quickly goes south for the group when a mysterious happening threatens their very lives. So without further ado, let's take a look at Oxenfree and see if it's able to recreate some of that 80s magic that clearly inspired it. In Oxenfree you play as Alex, a soon to graduate high schooler who has some emotional baggage that creeps up on her from time to time. She's joined by her new chain smoking stepbrother and three high school peers. Like clockwork, things start to get more and more strange and the teens traverse Edwards Island and sort of just chit chat about what's happening. Each member of your party definitely has a distinct, if cliché, personality that helps add variety to the many conversations you're going to have throughout the campaign. Unfortunately, while throwbacks can at times scratch that nostalgic itch, they also can be very dated. For example, two of your party members, who both happen to be women, don't really have anything unique to offer to these conversations and seemingly just exist to be genre tropes. The popular girl is ambiguously bratty and her more subdued friend, who I must point out would never be her friend, uh, just exist to really have her presence in the ensemble accepted by the player. While I didn't find it as deep as the developers intended perhaps, I will say that the narrative was good enough for me to want to reach the conclusion so I could figure out just what the heck was going on. Being a fan of titles such as Firewatch or What Remains of Edith Finch, I was very taken back by the boring nature of Oxenfree's gameplay. There just really isn't a whole lot to talk about. As Alex, you walk around Edwards Island and chit chat with your peers, often having to choose one of three dialogue responses. Sometimes you'll have to take out a radio and look for a certain radio frequency. That's it. That's the entire game. If anything, Edwards Island definitely has a very distinct look that does a really good job of selling the creepy situation Alex and co find themselves in. The areas all have a dark yet playful aesthetic that can shift from being very cute to downright creepy given the right subtext. However, the island itself is incredibly small and to make up for the shortage of scenery, the developers use tricks like backtracking and having the walking speed of a snail to make the map seem larger than it really is. So while easy on the eyes, there just simply isn't enough of it. The music in Oxenfree mostly consists of synthy 80s horror with a few slightly more lighthearted tracks and when combined with the art design, both do a fantastic job in selling the atmosphere here. Sadly, a few tracks actually walk the line of being considered music or not, and these didn't really do it for me. They sort of just sounded like my ears were getting an infection. Apart from the occasional flat delivery, the voice work here is actually pretty good. The main issue I have is not the delivery of certain lines of dialogue, but more so that the fact that these kids seem to be way too okay with what's unfolding around them, and that sort of gives off a strangeness to it. Like the art design, the voice work is good, it just doesn't ever really choose the tone it wants to set. So overall, the sound is pretty good, but a little strange. Overall, Oxenfree definitely puts the walking in walking simulator and is not a game for everyone. I actually was able to get it on sale for $5 in the eShop and I'm totally okay with that purchase. The rookie developer definitely have some of the ingredients needed to make a gripping narrative, but unfortunately with Oxenfree it just wasn't the game I was hoping for. While the game has had a massive patch that invites players back to Edwards Island to try to uncover a variety of alternate endings, unfortunately I just can't see myself revisiting what's already there. Um, does it hurt? As always, thanks so much for watching the video, and if you'd like to see more like it, go ahead and click that subscribe button.